the heck? Was like, oh, we're gonna go whole ass wig on here. Mm -mm. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? No. You didn't look cute. Oh, no. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video... So, for today's video, we're going to be doing a first impressions kind of vid on Kmart makeup. Now, I love absolutely everything about Kmart because you go there and you're like, oh my god, it's so inexpensive. Like, this product's only $3, this product's only $5. And you keep shopping around and this thing's like $9 and eventually your total is like $200. Kmart is sucking you in. Now, I absolutely love Kmart, so I'm not complaining. But does the Kmart makeup you know, succeed in that area as well. So that's why I'm here today to see if these products are worth it. Because to be honest, you don't need really expensive branded makeup to be really looking like a snack. You can look like a snack on a budget, okay? So don't be fooled that you need to buy like an $80 foundation compared to a $10 foundation. Mmm, well, this is so dry, it's pasty. So with no further ado, let's get into the video. I don't know if you could tell with it, ay, whip it up and make a meal with it, ay, ain't nobody getting real. I usually do my eyebrows off camera, but because we're doing like a first impressions video on everything, I have to record everything. Now I'm a little bit skeptical because I always have like a holy grail like eyebrow kind of product, but because we're doing Kmart things, I have the e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil in deep brown and I don't really um like stick eyebrow products just because like they run out really easily so I usually use pomade but e.l.f. is also really good as well like e.l.f. is a pretty good drugstore brand I came out okay so it just looks like this it's got the brush at the tip and obviously the product at the bottom Ooh, it's cute it's like a little crayon so I'm just gonna go in and fill my brows it's a bit like a crayon Stop playing, it looking funky. I'm not liking this already, okay? Like, this is not looking cute. Yo, she not looking cute at all. She not looking cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so bad. Oh my god, stop playing. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend it out a little bit. I can do this. I can make it work. What you mean? The color is good for it though, but it looks, what does the color say? So the shade is deep brown, but it's more of like a black. And I, it kind of seems I have to work with this quite a bit. It, it's actually it's like an actual crayon, like it's very dry. Damn, Elf is embarrassing me right now. I was like hyping them up. I was like, Elf is pretty good drugstore brand, but like, is it though? Because it's not looking cute right now. I look like a cartoon. You know when you like watch cartoons and the eyebrows are really animated. Like that's what I look like. I just constantly look mad. Like even if I'm trying to be happy, ah, I still look mad. Like, what? It's okay, we can still save it. I think we can still save it. We can still make it look cute. So for me to clean up my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. 16 hour camera concealer. Now this concealer, I can speak for, like this concealer is actually really good. So I think it's worth the price you get and it's only $10. Okay, so just cleaned up doing my eyebrows, and to be honest, I think I fixed them. They're looking cute, like bushy eyebrows. Who? Bushy eyebrows? Not me. Okay, that was that was cringe. Oh my god. To set it, I'm gonna be using the Elf Fairlight pressed powder, which is this guy here. Really just wanna go in Fairlight, and I'm just gonna go in and just set it so I can apply my eyeshadow next. With the same powder, I'm just gonna go in and set. Um, the top part of my brow as well, just trying to blend it in. So for the makeup palette, I'm gonna go. Wow, can I talk? Apparently not. So for the palette, I'm gonna be going in with Malibu BYS palette. It looks like this, super cute. And these are the colors here. Um, if you could buy a makeup palette that has these little guys, like the these little eye brush applicators. Don't waste your time using them, they're so bad, they're shit, don't use it. So this part doesn't actually have any transition shades, so I'm just gonna probably use the lightest shade that I have. No transition shade? Cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So I'm gonna go into this orange shade here called Palms on my Morph E13 brush. I don't have any drugstore brushes, so I apologize, but just invest in some good brushes and you're good to go. So I'm just gonna go in and just put this 
in my crease. Oh, is she looking bad? There's some pigment there, I can see it. Okay, so I'm just gonna really get in there. <laughs> mm. I don't really know what kind of look I'm trying to go for. I'm just gonna roll with it, so whatever comes to my mind. That's what it's gonna be, okay? So I don't even know, so. Wow, I'm not actually kind of sad. Like, this is burning out really good, like. I'm actually not mad, like, the pigment is there. I'm not mad. For the price of this eyeshadow palette, she's doing good, she's looking cute. Ooh. Mm. Came out pulling through, okay, see you. So the next shade I'm going in is called Coast, which is this shade here. <laughs> And I'm just going to go in and do the exact same thing as I did before on the same brush. Now I'm just going to, because I'm only doing like a half cut crease, I'm not too fast about going right to the end. So I'm just doing a little bit and then I just add colour on top of that and it just blends in seamlessly. So for the next step, I'm just going to go in with a compact palette that I used before, which is this elf one. And then I'm just going to go in and set it so it doesn't crease. Now, the shade that I'm going to be using to go on top of the lid is this shade called Surf Rider, which is this sparkly champagne shade. I it, it's pigmented. Girl. Look, look. She's pigmented. Look, I'm pigmented. Whoa. So I'm going to use this flat head brush. Guys, 2020. Came out is coming for you. The next thing I want to do is I'm just going to go back in with Coast, which is that pinky red shade, and I'm just going to go in this little pencil brush here, and I'm just going to go out and blend out the outer corners. Now I'm just going to go in with the shade, uh, shade. I'm with the shade. I'm going with the shade called Sunset, which is this purpley shade here, and I'm just going to put it on the outer corners as well. So unfortunately, I forgot to buy eyeliner and eyelashes. So I'm just gonna be using an eyeliner that I have and just like my usual lashes. But if you have like lashes that you like, obviously you just apply those. So I'm just gonna go and, and apply my eyeliner and my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So I've already applied my eyeliner and my lashes and I think this eye look is so cute for the price that it is. It's a win-win situation, y'all. It's still a Kmart makeup tutorial, though, okay? Like, everything else is Kmart except for the lashes and mascara and the eyeliner. But everything else is okay. This is the moisturizer that I use here, which is the Navy Oil Lotion Rose and Argan Oil. I just do two squirts of that. It's really um, light in consistency, but it gives you that fresh, hydrated skin feeling. I know this, that this foundation is actually really good because I've used it before and if there's any product that I recommend, it's obviously the eyeshadow palette because the eyeshadow palette was bomb.com and then that foundation here is also really good like it's full to medium coverage for the price that it is, it's it's a Myers actually, you should probably go and buy it, okay? My hoop, my hoop. Oh my god, she's talking about skin here, oh my god, stop! For concealer, I'm gonna use the same concealer that I used before and just put it under my eyes here. A little bit does go a long way because it's pretty full coverage, so put a little bit and then add more as you go. Just a little bit on my nose, on my mustache. I'm just gonna go back in with the e.l.f. compact powder that I used before on this powder brush and just set my whole face. I mean, all of this at Kmart and to... <laughs> so for contouring, I'm gonna be using the 69 Hour Camera Concealer as well, but this shade is in Deep Olive. Um, I never cream contoured before, so I thought this was kind of cute, but I might be regretting it because it's just looking funky. We can make this work. We can, we can do it. <laughs> My hoop's getting makeup on it. So I'm just going to contour a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. contour palette that I had. And I'm just going to go in with this little shade here. 
So for blush, I took this um, BYS. Oh, reflected the well. The BYS um, blush trio. It says berry scented. Ooh, it's berry scented. You know, I just realized BYS has a lot of like plastic packaging. Come on, it's 2020. We're trying to set the plan here. We don't need extra. Ooh, I'm gonna probably be going in with this shade here and just apply it to the high tops of my. Ooh, this blush is pigmented. Just smile as you put it on, so you know where like. But oh my god, it's a lot. Okay, let me let me blend it out. Oh my god. So we're nearly done with the whole makeup look. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go with the same palette, and I'm just gonna go in with this highlighter shade here. Let's see if it's pigmented. Ooh, it's pink. It's like reflective pink. Okay, so it looks like this. I don't have brush good. Mm, this is not looking cute. Mm, ew. So I'm just gonna try it anyway. <gasps> oh my god, I was wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, she's blinding. What do you mean? Oh, stop playing. Okay, y'all. Head to Kmart right now and buy this little guy. So cute. Blushes obviously pigmented as heck. And then the highlight, as you can tell, is so blinding. There's no harsh line to blend out the highlighter. It just like melts into the skin. When you walk down the street, people be like this, they like, oh my God, she's blinded. <gasps> oh, yo, yo, I just forgot to put on. I forgot to put on primer and it was cute. Damn, I forgot to put on primer, that's sad. <laughs> Um, so don't hate me, but I also forgot to buy lipstick, but I have this Australia's Velo Lips Matte Lip Cream. This Velo Lipstick shade is in... Six and a half hours later. Do you buy? Okay. Anyways, this is it for this tutorial. You don't need like really expensive makeup to be looking like a five star course meal. I actually love this makeup look. Like the eyeshadow, the base, the blush, the highlighter. Even the eyebrows when we came up with a roughly bushy kind of start. I'm absolutely in love with this. So guess what? My next trip is back to Kmart to be finessing cheap, affordable, but amazing makeup products. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it because like I absolutely love all these products and I can't believe it turned out so well. Like, you know, like you just gotta give makeup products a chance. Just don't think just because like they're cheap that they don't work well. Because as you can see, they do. Make sure before you leave that you like this video, give it a nice comment, and obviously if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I will appreciate it and I will love it so 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 much um thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna go out and show everybody my amazing makeup rock and I'll see you in my next video have a great day bye I can make you famous let me see the different angles in the sea get you high